أفلح من صلى على محمد وآل محمد I once saw a shadow walk towards the sun, shrouding it like a protective mother. Or was it an eclipse of a loving daughter? We all looked up as if we knew her, yet her name was not spoken. I looked to her feet, and beneath them the moon sat proud and swollen. She walked between the cracks of the universe, yet she was not broken. Stars clung to her cloak, bees around a beacon. I blinked, who is she? Could I be mistaken? It was as if beauty itself was a reincarnation of her. And the whole world was a reflective curtain, just like how words dissolved each time man mentioned her name in wording. No paper could find a pen to shoulder the burden just like her father could not find a celestial body to match her shining, except for that one man who would equally tire pens from writing. And there, that same man lay still and motionless, sitting over an unknown grave, his beard whitened by both dust and anguish, his stature once bold, now arched in the language of sadness. He begged the grave for one last whisper to alleviate the burden. And that's when I heard a voice rise like a silhouette from underneath the ground. Saying, what hurts you now, O oh Ali? What hurts you now, O oh Ali? Is it my absence? If it's my absence, know that my presence can be pieced together with the children I have left you until the earth remembers that they are just petals from a flower they crushed already. What hurts you now, O oh Ali? Is it the memory of my broken rib or the sun I failed to give? If it's the rib that hurts you now, know that many more ribs will be broken. On desert plains, a chest will be trampled on and left for days. And the journey back, the rust of my nail is nothing compared to the rust of the chains. The fire of the door is nothing compared to the fire of the tents. What hurts you now, O oh Ali? If it's Muhsin that hurts you, know that his death is a consolation. Would you not rather he falls on the edge of a nail? Or would you prefer his sister to walk beside his head on the end of a spear? Would you rather he be crushed silently side by side with my heart or have his cries ruptured by an arrow's flight, a sacrifice dove in his father's lonely hands? If it's Muhsin that still hurts you, know that you have been gifted with four others. In the depth of darkness, you'll find one dressed as the moon that is heaven's gift to you. From the first arrow struck, from the first hand lost to the depth of his final breath, his lips drenched, his pride crushed, he will be left like an angel with his wings tattered and torn, a martyr as beautiful as the day he was born. Make sure you treasure his hands, just like I treasure the throat of Hussein. Place one in each chamber of your heart like shrines. Visit them back and forth. The arteries and veins of this house will be Abbas and Hussein. And the heart that connects them both will be Zainab, Bain al Haramain. What hurts you now, O oh Ali? The voice went on and on and on, but nothing she would say would alleviate this man's pain. Soon he was no longer arched, but flat with the ground, until we heard no voice. We just saw a shadow stand above this man, and above her, skies darkened, melted, and peeled as if they were her signature unveiled. Beneath her, all was now still. We were pieces of literature, a book that she would read, Names upon names and stories revealed. Who is she? She counts her loved ones like prayer beads between her fingers. Who is she? 
Who is she? The ones chosen by her passed through crying, Thank you, Fatima, wa aflaha man salla ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad.